Hello, my beautiful glam crew. Welcome back to Down for Glam. My name is Gigi. And what we're doing today, you can see there's the little bag right there in the corner. We are doing that technique where you make the ridges in the polish or gel or whatever you're going to use with the plastic bag before you cure it. And then using the layering technique you're able to file through and come up with a really cool marble. So that's what we're gonna do today. I am using some of that, um, uh, I think it was, it's gel paint. I will write down in the um, description what kind it is. Here I'm just using my little um, pinching tool to make some ridges in there and I wanted some a little finer than that. So I used the end of one of my brushes, and this is how those ridges came out. Now we're coming in with some just plain old blue polish, and we are going over the top of that. I, uh, it was either Ye Yogi or Model 1s. I forget. I want to say it's Model 1s is the red polish, but I'll have it listed below. Now we're coming in with a little builder gel, just the very, very thinnest layer. You can already see some of that red is peeking through the blue. So when I file it, I want to be able to see the blue and get to veins of the red, but not file directly into the red. So that's why I'm adding this third layer. It's just giving me a little buffer to be able to get some filing in and still keep most of that blue. So I'm just smoothing it out a little and we are gonna hold it upside down just to smooth it out all the way. There we go. And now we're coming in with the file. Now this one was actually really easy to file. The second one we're gonna do, I end up using the e-file with that one because it was a, it's poly gel, so it was a little thicker, right? And now I'm just cleaning it off. Ooh, 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 ooh. I already love that, but we're going to hit the sides and the top a tiny bit more. I want us to see just the hint of that cover pink gel, not it to be the main focus. Because that's how marbles are created in real life, is a layering of different types of rock. And different veins flowing through from millions of years of the planet forming and earthquakes and whatnot. And there it is with a little top coat. We will see that one again at the end. Right now what we're gonna do is the poly gel version. So what I'm gonna do is a very, very thin layer of the white. And if you were building a nail, you would not want to depend on this uh, crinkly part and the part on top to be your structure you would kind of want to build most of your structure already and use this as the as the top of it to give you the effect and add to the strength of the nail not be the full strength of the nail because uh, I went in really thin with this so you want to have just enough room to be able to make those crevices, um, right? But not so much room that it's it's a lot because if, you, anyway, you don't wanna have to go too deep with the crevices. And if you tried to build a full structure, I'm, I'm worried that that's what would happen. So now we're just taking that plastic off and I gave it a little extra cure just because some bits were a little thicker than others I wanted to make sure. There's some really thin bits along the side. I wanted to just cut those off, make it a little easier for myself. And I am gonna do a tiny bit of pre-filing here because those edges are a little sharp and sticking out really far. And I wanted to already have the basic shape of the nail ready to go before we put this pink on. I didn't want there to be, you know, like empty spaces that I maybe miss because I didn't take the time to take that extra bit off. Now we are going to add this silver polish, which is the Model 1's solid cream gel, and we're just going to cover the entire nail with this. 
and that's going to give a really cool effect when we get it filed because it's going to give you the white but with the veins of silver around the white it's a very pretty effect honestly i'm going to just say it right now this is not the easiest marble technique to do now that that's cured we're going to go in with the pink but it is the most i think it looks the most like real marble in my opinion because it's actually how real marble is it's a layered veiny situation where you know you've got this one main type of rock with other with another type of mineral or rock going through it so i just find it to be a very effective look this was the first time I ever tried this. You guys know I always, I always do my as much of my practice right in front of you as I can. Um, sometimes I do need to uh, try some things before I try to film them, but mostly I just dive right in and give it my best shot. I'm going to go ahead and say, um, if you're doing this on a tip, this was my first time to really do poly gel on a tip like this. I wish I'd flipped it over and made sure there was no poly gel on the underside because there was and I had to drill it off. So you will want to keep an eye out for that. Now, like I said, I did use the drill on this nail just because it's the poly gel was, is thicker than the actual um, polish and uh, builder gel situation I did on the other nail. And if I had filed by hand, it would have really taken me a long time to get all the way down to the marble and I, I who wants who wants all that and i love my e-file so i just decided to go ahead and give it a shot and i was really pleased with how it made everything work and you can see that that is really coming through there so pretty and once we get the top coat on there oh i love it I'm just refining that shape a little with my hand file, making sure everything's pretty. Now, this is a matte top coat. And you will see that it did not look as good. There it is shiny, and there it was matte. I should have left it there a little longer, but you'll see it here, here, matte. I didn't like it. So we're gonna come back in with a shiny top coat let me know in the comment section below if you have tried this technique. I would love to see what you have created. So tag me in your pictures or your videos, whatever. I love to see what you guys are creating. These are the finished marble nails. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. We will see you next time. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.